Alright, so this video I want to cover uh, some crate training tips. Um, right now we've got Benny, he is a brand new board and train dog and uh, he just got dropped off. So after the walk and you know how we introduce leash pressure and kind of get the walk under control and sort it out, the next thing I really like to focus on is crate manners because this is going to be the first time the dog has been with us uh, crated whether we're in the same room or not. I would really like to make sure um, the dog can go in the crate, stay in the crate, but also uh, come out of the crate nicely. So that's what we're gonna work on right now. So, leash on the dog, uh, Benny's wearing a prong collar. He's uh, already kind of learned what leash pressure means and how to follow it, uh, but it's really important that you have your dog leashed uh, as you're teaching them how to go in and out of the crate, just like when you're teaching sit down or place anything like that. So very simply, uh, this is how we're going to start the exercise. I'm going to say crate, and with the leash, I'm going to guide him in. I'll say good, and then I'm going to close the door. And then after the dog is in the crate, um, I really also like to make sure that they understand uh, threshold manners. So threshold manners are whenever a door is open, that doesn't mean you can just kind of run out and run away. Um, we really like dogs to respect threshold manners uh, and learn that um, coming out of the crate or out of the back door or something like that, uh, it's permission based. Right, so we've got our crate, we've got Benny leashed. This is how we begin the exercise. So I'm gonna say crate, I'm gonna guide him over. Good, so once he's in, I say good, and I'm gonna close the door. A couple things here. I like to have my leash on the outside just so I'm not reaching in, because if I've got a dog that is maybe a little nervous or a little, a little timid, maybe they don't know me quite yet, um, I don't like to overwhelm them and reach in in case that uh, is overwhelming. So I like to make sure once the dog is in, I've still got control of them outside of the crate. And another note here, um, whether it's your first teaching your dog how to go into a crate or you're uh, just kind of revisiting your dog's crate manners, um, start with shorter durations in the crate. So don't expect your dog to be calm the first time you practice this. So what we're going to do is our ins and outs of the crate are going to be really short for the time being because again, this is the first lesson we've had with Ben. So once he's in, I'm going to now kind of teach a threshold manners. So this is his first time doing this. So this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, threshold manners are non-verbal, meaning I'm not gonna say stay, I'm not gonna say wait. Um, how I'm gonna communicate is either with spatial pressure, my body, but more importantly, the door. So right here, you notice just when he tried to come out, I just kind of gently closed it. He backed off and he sat back down. So by way of spatial pressure this way, he's learning, okay, even if the door is open, that doesn't mean I can just kind of get out whenever I want. This is a really good exercise for really hyper dogs that, that struggle with impulse control, but also, uh, you know, nervous, fearful, timid dogs or anxious dogs. Um, we really want to uh, encourage them to start thinking just before responding when, whenever they see an opening. So this is how we're teaching threshold manners. So anytime the door is open, that doesn't mean he can just kind of jam out of here. So what we're doing is we're having a conversation by way of, you know, the door saying, okay, you still have to wait for permission to come out. So this is kind of what we're doing. And all I'm asking him, I'm just asking Benny, just respect this space. So anytime he makes an attempt to come out, uh, I'm just going to close it. So any attempt like that too. So all I want to, all I want Benny to learn is a door open doesn't mean anything until I release him. So just these few repetitions, now we've got him thinking. So I, I'm even gonna reset that. So now we've got him thinking going, okay, uh, I can't just go out whenever I want. What should I do instead? So now I've got a dog that's a little more in tune with me. Once he's calm, he's not clawing, he's not whining, he's not barking. Now I can, okay, now I can release him. So going in, staying in, and respecting the threshold manners coming out, 
that's kind of one repetition. So what we're gonna do now is continue doing this and then very slowly we're gonna increase the duration Benny's in the crate as well as the distance from me to him. Great. Good. So he's in, I close the door. Now let's address the threshold manners. So it's a very simple exercise, uh, but it can be really challenging and also maybe even a little stressful for dogs that aren't used to it. Um, but for also uh, dogs that don't have a lot of impulse control. So they're just used to whenever the, a door is open, uh, just kind of running out full speed or they're not used to uh, checking in with their owners. So this is a really productive uh, leadership exercise too. So again, the door is open. Now he's going, okay, well, what would you like me to do as opposed to just kind of running out whenever I feel like it? So I can say, good. And again, my reward isn't gonna be super hyped up because if I say, good boy, yeah, see what happens. So my energy, my affection, just kind of made him make a mistake. So that's okay, this is a learning experience and I just want uh, you to see what happens if I use too much energy, too much affection. So we'll reset here, great. Got him in, good. I can close the door. So a proper reward is gonna be neutral. Again, especially if I've got a dog who's very hyper or a dog who's a little anxious and unsure, I don't want them relying on me to feel good. I, I want them to start developing some independence. So we're gonna practice our thresholds again. So again, this is nonverbal. Um, all I'm asking for him is just respect the process coming out of the crypt. Okay, good. Great. Good.